What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. Hope you're all doing well here as we return to Wreckfest once again here today, checking out one of the all-time classics yet again. We are back at the Stockton 99 Speedway, probably my personal all-time favorite track mod in this game. And it still works after all this time, which is a beautiful thing that cannot be said about a lot of mods. And that unfortunately recently includes the Bomb Shelter Collection. That thing is dead. We hardly knew it, but it was fun while it lasted and we still got a lot of things like these sprint cars to have some fun with, so we'll get right to that. Before we start here today, though, I just want to remind you guys to follow the Soundhead Entertainment TikTok at Soundhead ENT. Make sure you go over there and drop that follow because we have been uploading some exclusive content that is not on YouTube yet, so make sure you go check it out, as well as the rest of our social Social media accounts that are linked down in the description and as always if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button for me subscribe if you have not already and let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments down below with that we pretty much wrapped up the intro let's go ahead and get to the video let's go race it all right off we go here at stockton for attempt number one it feels good to be back home almost in a way let's see if this ramp is as treacherous as i remember it being and it certainly looks that way we're gonna fly over top of them and do a bomb drop on top of Matt Crafton. Where we're sitting right on top of him. Look at him. We are morphing into one right now. We are an eight-wheeled machine of death. Can we even get over there? We might be more powerful this way. Oh, we finally get separated. That was starting to get interesting there for a second. We were about to form one hell of a super villain. And look, we got a ride height kit installed on us again. That's nice. Let's see if this extra suspension area we have now will give us a little softer rebound on the landing so we can get by these guys but not if i'm just wrecking into justin haley who's got three wheels i'm really doing him a favor out here i'm racing kyle bush in reverse you can at least help me back around or not just drive off the disrespect is unbelievable as usual kyle bush just spits in the face of an up-and-comer i'm barely getting over the field there we just spread our wings and flew oh my kyle bush right into the backside of david rudiment just packs it right in there Oh, and now here we go. Thank you, gentlemen. You two are world class. And Matt Crafton, Matt Crafton's head is caved in. Oh, you poor guy. I hope the helmet technology we have can hold up to that because that looks rough. We got another guy up here that got cut down to size. Who had Ben Rhodes having a rough day? And then we got the originator up here, Matt Crafton, who held every ounce of our ass on his head a minute ago, and he's about to do it again. Oh, my God, that was close. I thought we were about to double jeopardy him. I wouldn't sentence my worst enemy to that, and I am stuck on Austin Dillon. Here it is. The high suspension giveth and taketh away. I cannot get off of him. Come on. We were about to start a reverse tandem draft in a couple of sprint cars. That would have been pretty interesting. We'll just go ahead and dispose of AD and any future problems that we run through Matt Crafton again, this poor guy. He's missing a wheel now. I don't mean to do this. I swear. Yeah, hit me instead. We got to lay off a mat. Come on. Who's tired? Is that his tire laying right there? Tony Stewart almost picked it up and put it on. He could use one. He's got three wheels, too, it looks like. We are in shambles out here as a sprint car community, it would seem. You think the Chili Bowl is rowdy? Wait till you come to Stockton. We are teaching people the hard way. Look at Ben Rhodes. Do you think he expected this? He looks like he belongs to the Chili Bowl now. His car is down to side. Johnny Sauter got the dub out in front of us by a whole lap. That's disgusting. The level of competition here at Stockton. Well, Brendan Poole, maybe not the finest example, but the rest of these guys somewhat tough we're not even in the top 10 maybe we can sneak in there we catch enough bums out here we don't land on justin ailey from the heavens that was almost another atomic ass drop that could have been tragic come on ad let's wreck one more time for the road here across the line midair we go with a nice little spin for some style points oh you got to give it to me and the top 10. i can tell from the first attempt this is definitely going to be one of those endurance episodes of wreckfest and tony stewart's going to be my victim this time on the drop that is just that's unfortunate. We are indeed an eight-wheeled beast. Look at that, literally an eight-wheeled beast. Look at us. We just took on the form of a tank and look at me now. Oh my God, joke's on them though, because now my landing is gonna be nice and soft. There's nowhere to go though. There's nowhere to take the jump. You guys really got defeated by like a four-foot ramp. Way to go. Can I get through? Am I allowed passage, please? I think I'm down to three wheels. This might be it. I don't know. This is becoming an even bigger monstrosity by the second here with every passing moment and i cannot get over this bridge my car won't even spawn it can't even turn to a solid object there's nowhere clean to be here this is just ungraceful we gotta send it here we'll send it with richard petty or send it off for richard petty by the looks of it that's not what i meant to do slapping wheels with one of the goats and that's gonna lose me a wheel and lose me my life i'm wasted what the hell just happened that didn't make any sense you want to see a textbook AEW WWE elbow drop from the top rope there you go there it is, courtesy 
of my tag team partner, Richard Petty, we were able to get it done. I did, unfortunately, get sacrificed to the Wreckfest gods immediately afterwards. Richard, I learned my lesson with you. All right, Castle, get out of here. Castle just wrecked himself before we even got to the ramp, and we're going to find a clean spot to land and still flip over. That's just cool. Come on, Wreckfest. You got to give me that landing. I know my suspension isn't lifted eight feet off the ground, but you can give me that. McFlurry boy really fighting me on this inside line here. You want the spot? Are you going to take it or what? No, of course not. You're getting sun like everybody else does around here. And we just almost dropped it on who else but Michael Waltrip. Rudiman's got a nice crooked wing. What kind of shenanigans have you gotten up to this round? Oh, Kurt Busch just narrowly avoids getting his head taken off. The, our wheel literally just skid across. We probably ripped a couple follicles of hair out. David Rudiman still hanging on to that thing, even though his wing is literally covering his face, and that's the closest we've come to a mid-air collision yet. Good bit of traffic to deal with once again. Can we navigate through the middle of this? We do. And we got Kyle Busch waiting for us on the landing. We just flattened his head. I can imagine Eminem's going flying everywhere like when a Lego video game character dies, they lose its pieces. Try not to get sweaty palms, but we are in the lead, headed into the last lap. And then, and then that is when someone finally decides to hit me in the middle. And that knocks our wheel off and probably our chances of winning out of the park. You know, knowing this game, there'll probably be some absolute just buffoonery that'll take place somewhere else on this track. And I might still have a shot at this with three wheels and about a top speed of three miles per hour. Maybe not even that anymore. I think I'm done. These leaders are definitely a little stupid right at the beginning of the race and they cannot get over this first ramp. That's what causes a lot of these problems. We get by the problems. That's what I've been trying to do, finally. We get that clean landing in second. Oh, I just realized Matt Crafton's the guy in the lead, though. That's who we have to take it from. He's not going to be too pleased with us. Oh, my eyes almost go face first. But we reshaped his head earlier. He's not going to be happy. Can I hire a bounty hunter to come hit Crafton in the intersection or something? I need some assistance. Oh, I might not, actually, if he just runs himself into the pile. And I get a bad bounce to the lead. Hell, yeah. Can we hold on to this? We got to... <laughs> now, this is the problem. Getting to the lead is one thing. Holding on to it. Holding on to the car, keeping it in one piece, not having it go head over heels like it wants to seem like every single time is going to be the real challenge. But this is something I'm prepared to face. We will take this on in stride. If we have to, we'll get by McFlurry and we'll send it over the intersection right in front of Richard Petty, who's in second. We have a hell of a lead at the intersection. McMurray, you just can't stop being in the way, can you, bud? You want to go ahead and move yourself? Oh, there it is. Right into a car I couldn't even see because it was so flattened. Why well, I can't even find the right layout of the track anymore. We're doing the regular oval out here. This is when the, the race just devolves. See, this is what I'm talking about. We still have a massive lead, though. McMurray and I sworn enemies, apparently, at this point for absolutely no reason. These AI and I, man, I, you'd swear I hate these drivers. I love every NASCAR driver there ever was in real life. Would you be able to tell that by watching these videos? Absolutely not, but that does not matter. Because what we're going to do is cross that line and shove the dub in their friggin' faces. Give me that. Crown my ass. Well, there we go. We parked it in victory lane and ran across the street to the production truck here to check out the replay. You knew it was gonna be a good attempt when we got that clean landing off the first intersection. Then it was just gonna be a matter of hunting down Mac Crafton and taking it from him and take it, we did. But we're not gonna take it and run for the hills quite yet. As some of you know, we usually like to add a little something special on the end of these things. And we're running back to the track here because we have got something very special in store. It's something a lot of you guys love and ask for constantly. We have got the pinball mod and moon gravity enabled. This is gonna be a wild one. This is one of the craziest combos Wreckfest can offer. Wreckfest gods, I know we don't talk as much as we probably should. <laughs> gonna need a little help here. Oh, man, that's not the way I was hoping to get it, unless that's a delay that will save me later. And let the Space Force tryouts begin. It would seem we got Corey LaJoy right in front of us. We got someone out there way looking over the fence, maybe even. No, they land in the park. Lucky. This is a collision course and a half. That's a two for one, nearly a three piece. Where's the soda? And I'm doing a backflip over here right on my head. That's a paralyzer if I've ever seen one. And we get shortened by about a foot, maybe two, maybe more. We just got converted into a low rider, and I consider that getting off lucky. This is like driving a super sport model now of a sprint car. And we are on a collision course with Jamie McMurray. Who else? I was hoping he'd forgotten about me, and he sends me out of the park and into a tree to be one with nature. That was not called for. Just how are you going to catch me lagging like that? We've got quite a lot to unpack here. This is a good place to start with the near miss in midair, followed by a mandatory visit to the hospital. 
thanks to that wreck. And if they don't have a hospital near this track, maybe even across the street, they are messing up. We're going to have to crowdfund one if they don't have one. We're going to go in the seats. We're going to go to the people. We're going to ask them. We're going to go in the stands and start a raffle or something. We're going to sell some raffle tickets. We're going to build a hospital. And it's going to be the Ed Soundhead Memorial Hospital by the time this race is over with. Because look at that. Jamie McMurray just throws me out. Walk-off home run for Jamie McMurray. That was better than his Daytona 500 win. He just disposed of my entire existence, and the fans don't even care. So basically, this track has kind of become somewhat of like a real-life bucket list item to me. I got to go to Stockton 99 Speedway someday and to see if it's anything as destructive as this because that would just be insane. I'll have to hope and pray I don't run into, like, the Diaz brothers or something out there. I might get dropped on my head if we do, but we're going to make our way up the field. How did that just happen? I didn't even, like, see what happened. They're just, everybody just destroyed themselves. I was ran so hard. I kind of missed it. This, this is hard to ignore. We're not going to miss this. We're right back into our struggle of the last race. I can see that's going to be a bit of a reoccurring theme, but I am not the only one falling victim. Oh, man. Is there anything I can do for this? No, we are all just damned to do flips and twists and hopefully land on the wheels as my car is starting to look like a top fuel dragster from the back. Those wheels are getting closer together. That wing might get a little bit higher by the end of this. Someone just got packed up here. I'm spinning out Red Byron. That's for the lead. I'm dumping the leader. We are in an absolute fist fight for the lead right now. And it's getting uglier by the second. David Pearson comes in. He wants a piece of it. This is now a three-way fight for the lead. And I've lost the wheel. Holy moly. It's amazing how this game can just give you a glimmer of hope and then rob it away from you as quick as David Pearson can appear on your screen and disappear again. Your wheel's gone and the chances of winning are not far behind it. I'll do this dump in reverse if I have to, or not apparently. I'll get swiped off the road by Dale and he'll get launched all the way across the sky. I feel bad for the aliens that gotta face Space Force. Dale, oh my God, Noah Gregson just launched me into another dimension. And there goes my life. Our crops been to grow for a thousand years. The amount of times I've been sacrificed today and there's an explosion, just a bomb going off in the field before we even got to the ramp. Oh my God, what the hell? Holy crap, I just got served up off of somebody. That was insane. And over the fence we go, and I just landed in the first row. I just landed on a fan's lap. Right in their nachos and the pretzel and the popcorn. And not to be forgotten, we just drove away from that, by the way, only to drive ourselves right back into this. Oh, hold on, actually, that seemed like a bit of a gentle landing. Maybe we can get, gather something up with this as we got poor Ryan Newman, very on brand, him doing a bunch of flips and crazy stuff in the car. Got to keep that man on the ground at all times. He, why, who let him in here? Ryan Newman cannot be tried. You know his track record. He, it ain't looking any better than this landing track record that we have. And oh my God, just give me my wheels to the ground, please. I'm begging already. It doesn't need to be drawn out this long. And look, now we get the wing adjustment. Well, here we go. Cross your fingers for the white flag lap. We did have something happen to Steve Park back there, I guess. Probably something like this, because we are gaining some serious time. We're gonna be giving it back with this not nice rebound here. Can we please spin this thing around and get out of the way? Oh, they do. Do they ever pack some out of my way? I see what the gain and loss in time is. It's all us doing backflips over every single ramp. It has an accordion effect on the field, it would seem, in the timesheet, but if we can pull out of this without losing any wheels, I think we're gonna be good. We're gonna retake the throne at maybe my all-time favorite track. We're gonna hit the tires, knock a tire off right as we cross the line in midair. How poetic is that? Tire check me to the dub. Well, I don't know about you guys, but something about coming away from a day at the races with dual dubs, and not just at any races, at stocked at 99 Speedway, that feels like we accomplished something. I wanna say thank you to all of you who tuned in and watched me get served up on a silver platter for some Terminators. I think it was all worth it in the end, so with that, like I said, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. But if you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe for me. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Peace.